Why do we here at ninth summer school? It's too boring for our life. I know, Grounder. It's too boring. Terrible at summer school. We hate summer school. Good morning, student. Mr. Eric is delay only 10 minutes. He will be soon. And as for you, scratch Grounder Equestrian Noise, Classic Kailu and Raven, if you all cause trouble, you've been suspended. Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Behave yourself. Man. It's boring day for our life. I know Sundown Glare, what should we do? Hey everyone, since Mr. Eric isn't here yet for the new subject, wanna play hangman? Guys, it's that good idea? Wow. That was very good idea. Let's do it. And let's play. One more thing. Bubbleberry and Elusive, can you be the one doing the writing? Sure. We can. Good morning. Today is a really bad day at school today. Good news, me and Elusive become a funniest teacher. Now. Okay. Who would like to guess first? I going first. Okay Bob. Guess what letter is already F? F is graffiti. Good job. Who would like to go next? I want to go next. Okay Scratch. What's your guess? A is a graffiti. Very good. Who's next? I'm. My questions is, is there K a graffiti? Correct. Anyone else? He won't bleep it all go next. Okay Dr. Robotnik. What's your guess? A is a graffiti. Bingo. That's correct Robotnik. So classic Kailu and his friends. Since you came with the bubble berries idea. Anyone? It's graffiti. Sorry classic Kalu. Almost. Does anyone else? Me, my friend Evil Pingu and our friends will like to go next. Okay Raven, Evil Pingu now are the rest friends. What's your guess? Ding 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 ding. That's correct from all of you. He certainly does to be dead. Just like our stupid former teacher named Mr. Dallas. <laughs> no. We did it. No principal Eric is coming right now. Good morning class. I hope you all of you are ready for history of century and trivia. Huh? What the? What the hell is this? Who wrote this? Who wrote this line? Never in my entire life. Bruv I even dead and fake at least I'm killer. Oh Mr. Eric the strip summer school teacher. Elusive wrote that. What do you think? We're the class clown. Hell no. There's nothing funny about me virus and dead. That is inappropriate. Do you understand me? We understand. Good. All of you. Right. That's enough. Goofing around scheming and laughing. We let's take attentions and then we will go straight into history next week. We are doing trivia. Grounder. The killer teller. Wanna kill someone? Enough. If you and the rest of class scheming and laughing about that one more time. I give you all a pages of homework. Hell no. Not a pages of homework. I agree with Scratch. Next week, we've done with you. And we're going to kill you right now sent you to hell. You stupid teacher. I agree with both Scratch and Grounder. Me. Nigel. Lamar, Rebecca, Eloise, Kenward and other friends hates you. You seriously going to hell after you did to us. You stupid idiot. Guys. I have idea. Instead we have a stupid homework. Let's leave stupid horrific summer school and going to Chuck E. Cheese's. Good idea. We so mad at her. Principal Eric, take this.
Come on guys. Let's get out of here. Stupid Mr. Eric. We are not coming back here until you're dead. And also, we're going home to watch Ratatat. This is the fourth time. What is it, opalescence? Meow. What? Meow. Oh my god! No! You can't be serious! Troublemakers is gonna get it! Opalescence, thank you for letting me know about my laptop with security camera. I'm going to Ucla at Los Angeles now. I need to talk Principal Allen right now. See you later. Hello everyone, since Mr. Phil isn't here yet for the new subject, wanna play Hangman? Oh hell yeah, let's play. And can I be the one doing the writing? Sure, you can. Okay, who would like to guess first? I would. Okay, Annex. Guess what letter is here? Is there a D? No D. Who would like to go next? I want to go next. Okay, Kaden. What's your guess? Is there an E? There is. Who's next? I am. And my question is, is there an S? Correct. Anyone else? I would like to go next. Okay, what's your guess? Is there a T? Bingo. That's correct. Hey, Nash. Since you came up with the idea of playing Hangman, I'll let you choose the next letter. Okay, is there a B? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. Alright, who would like to go next? Me and the rest will like to go next, and we would like to guess the entire sentence. Okay everyone, what's your guess? Is the answer, Mr. Mr. Ding 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 ding, that's correct, he certainly does eat us. I just cannot wait for Mr. Phil to come here so we can see his reaction when he sees this. Okay students, welcome to the first day of history and trivia. Today, we will be doing a history and trivia quiz. Any questions? Yes, Deacon. I have a question. Why are we taking a quiz? Because taking a quiz will make you smarter and give you high energy. Here are the tests. The test is 68,000 multiple choice questions and 41,000 written questions. The test begins now. Seriously, Mr. Thomas, you're giving us a test when we didn't even study for it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Cherry, first of all, do not talk to me like that. Second, we have to take this test right now because I don't have time for you guys to study. Now do your tests right now. Mr. Thomas, we would prefer video games over homework. Jacob Lieber and Daniel Petrowix would even prefer video games rather than homework. Hey, that's no way to speak to me, young man. Now get to work. Good morning, class. Today we will be doing history and trivia, since this is the first day of it. Hey Miss Wandelin, I have a question. Okay Eagle, what is it? Why the fuck are we doing history and trivia? History is the worst subject of all, worse than the other subjects, and this isn't get ungrounded trivia, this is summer school, so we can't learn about trivia here. Well, first of all, that's not nice for you to talk to me like that, and second of all, the principal chose history to be the next subject. And third of all, just because this isn't get on grounded trivia, doesn't mean we can't do trivia, now be quiet and deal with it. Fine, 
Good morning, class. I hope all of you are ready for history and trivia today. Huh, but the... Who wrote this? Who wrote this lie? Never in my entire life have I even eaten at least one ass. Ha teacher, I wrote that, what do you think, am I the class clown, or what? But no, there is nothing funny about me eating ass that is inappropriate, do you understand me? Okay, I understand. Good. Alright, enough goofing around class, we let's take attendance and then we will go straight into history. Tomorrow we are doing trivia. Trip. Here. A few names later. Annex, or should I say, Annex the ass-eating teller. Yo teacher, wanna eat some ass? Annex, enough. If you and the rest of the class laugh about that one more time, I am calling all of your parents to pick all of you up, because I am way 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 too uncomfortable to keep you here for five more hours. Just say you're here. Alright then, here, sheesh, it's even funny how mad you get and that you can't take a freaking joke. I agree with Annex, Mr. Phil, Nexa wrote that to be funny and joke around. I agree with both Cadden and Annex, Mr. Phil, you are such a waste of our summer, you are like Snorlax from Pokemon Day except if he was a human. And Nexa was right by writing that you eat ass, asses are so full of fat and thick that you decided to shove them up your big fat mouth. You seriously need to go to Planet Fitness and lose weight, fatso. Guys, I have an idea. Instead of having Mr. Large Ass Phil calling our parents, let's leave this horrific school and go to Chuck E. Cheese's and have a huge blast there. In fact, how about we feed this whale a bunch of Chuck E. Cheese's pizza since he love is so much because he is the fat man. I agree babe, Mr. Fat Ass Phil. We are not coming back here until you lose weight. Come on everybody. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese's. You know what class? Fine, go ahead and leave. I never needed you guys here anyway. I might as well go to Planet Fitness and lose weight. And when I return tomorrow, you will see me really thin as Mrs. Clementine's butt. And before you ask, no, I will not eat it. Alright everyone, it's Chuck E. Cheese's time. Let's go. Okay, the test results are in. And... You all got D minuses, you all did horrible, and off here, how the hell did you fail that test? I literally gave you an exam. Oh, well, I was so sad after I got grounded that I forgot. Really? Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire freaking life. You know what Mr. Thomas, we extreme 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 extremely despise you so much, you are such a waste of our summer. You are like Matt the Go Animator and Kenny Animate the stupid digits who won't keep their damn mouths shut. And what in the hell is Kenny doing anyway? He hasn't uploaded in months. Is he a huge ass procrastinator or something? Yeah, and also, why are Mayor Humdinger and Author in this school anyway? Like what the heck were you thinking about letting a grown man and an aardvark in school? Hey guys, I have a great idea. Instead of having Mr. Thomas the fuckhead calling our parents, let's leave this horrific school and go to Chuck E. Cheese and have a huge blast there. Yeah, I agree with you CGPA little Bill, Mr. No, we are not coming back here until you close this summer school up and quit your job. Come on everybody, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. You know what class, fuck this shit, fine, go ahead, and leave, I never needed you guys here anyways, I might as well go and quit my job and close this school up, and when I return tomorrow, you'll see me as a really dangerous, son of a bitch than ever. Well everyone, you know what time it is? It's time for Chuck E. Cheese's, let's all go. Okay Mailage, who was the first president of the United States? The answer is George Washington. Correct, Chorus, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? The answer is 1776. That's right, Rafina. What did the Americans do to the Africans back then? They used them as slaves. That's right, good job for that. And now, Eagle, how did the dinosaurs go extinct? The answer is nobody gives a shit. Miss Wandelin, you are such a waste of our summer, and a stupid fatso who sent us to this stupid special ed room, and Nailuch had every right to call you a barbar fat lady since you are fat as fuck. Yeah, I agree with Ikul, and I can't believe you asked us history questions when we dark made history so much, and we don't even why we answered the questions when you asked them to us. Yeah, you should definitely go to Planet Fitness and lose weight you stupid ba ba fat lady. 
Come on everybody, let's sing the Baba -ba Fat Lady song. Baba -ba 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 Fat Lady, lady. Have, you have you any, any fat? fat? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Three 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 one, one, one for me. One, one, one for me. And one for me. And one for me. I am a fat fuck. You know what? Fine. You want me to lose weight so bad? Okay, I'll lose some weight alright. And I'm calling all of your parents about this. Oh, Miss Wandelin, you're here too. Yeah, because those troublemakers wouldn't stop making fun of me. Same here. Now, let's get in here and get fit. Okay, now it's time for us to get on the treadmills and lose some weight. A few minutes later. Okay, we have lost 280 pounds, now we're famous Mrs. Clementine's ass. And we are so calling our troublemakers parents and owners right now. Hello, is this the troublemakers parents? Great, this is their summer school teacher, Mr. Feel. I'm calling because all of your kids have a a filthy lie about me, called me fat, and disrespected me and I never got to teach them history today. But can you all do me a favor and ground them for a long period of time? Okay, that sounds great. Thank you, I appreciate that. Bye bye. Hello, is this the troublemaker's parents? Great, this is their summer school teacher, Miss Wandelin. I'm calling because all of your kids have yelled at me, called me a baba fat lady, and disrespected me. But can you all do me a favor and ground them for a long period of time? Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Bye bye. You know what? No, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm not going to let these idiots talk me down. Watch when I come tomorrow. I'm going to be like Baldy. I'm going to get a big ruler with me. But before I do that, I'm calling their parents and owners right now. Hello, is this all of the troublemakers' parents? Good, this is Mr. Thomas speaking. I am calling you because all of your shitty kids have wrote a filthy lie about me, called me the N-word and disrespected me after they all got bad grades. So as for their punishment, they will all be writing, I am a cheater 100,000 times, and do me a favor, ground all of these bastards for a long period of time. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Bye. I am going to check the security camera. Oh my god, the troublemakers went to Chuck E. Cheese's, I'm telling Miss Morton to get them. Man, Chuck E. Cheese's is the best, I wish we could be here forever. There you all are, let's get back to the school right now. You guys should all be ashamed of yourselves, you all can't just go to Chuck E. Cheese's and get away with it, anyways, your parents are all coming here soon, so wait here, in the meantime, for your homework tonight. You are to complete 10,000 history problems. Any questions? Um, Miss Morton, I have a question. What is it, Caden? Are you fucking high? Caden, you do not talk to me like that. If you talk to me like that again, you will be in timeout. Fuck you, Miss Morton. That's it, Caden. Go to the timeout corner right now. No. I am not doing the homework, Miss Morton. You can lick my penis. That does it, Caden. You are going into a timeout. Go to the back of the classroom right now. Now for the rest of you guys, make sure to do the homework I assigned you guys. You know what, Miss Morton? No. We're not doing the history homework. I hate homework as much as Caden, and you should know it. I agree with Deacon. Homework just hurts our brain. And besides, it's the first day of history, so why are you giving us homework on the first day of history? I would rather go to the strip club with Jason Estrado and Jamie Thomas rather than your fucking homework. Deacon and Esimonia, how dare you two refuse to do the history homework assignment? Homework does not hurt your brain, it's good for you guys and it'll make you smarter. Shut the fuck up Miss Morton, nobody cares about your stupid homework. I hope you fucking get COVID-19 so that way we won't have to be in fucking summer school. Cyan, how dare you wish me a coronavirus threat. You know coronavirus threats are very rude and disrespectful, and they do not work at all. That's it go to the time out corner right now. Holy fucking shit, these students are crazy, I swear to lord, if I have to send three more students to the time out corner, 
I will send them all in the principal's office. Miss Morton, you think you're gonna send us to the principal's office? Well, I have something to say about that. Oh my god, CGPA Little Bill, how dare you sing your theme song in front of the whole class, that's it, time out corner here you come. Guys, stop laughing, nothing is funny, can we just move on, and wait for your parents? Miss Morton, I have one thing to say about that. Poor Patrol, poor Patrol, we'll be there, on the double, whenever, there's a problem. Round Adventure, they... Ryder and his team of pups will come and save the day. Marshall, Rubble, Chase, Rocky, Zuma, Sky, yeah, they're on their way. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, whenever you're in trouble. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double. No jobs too big, no pups too small. Paw Patrol, we're on a roll. So, here we go. Paw Patrol, oh ah uh, ah uh, oh, Paw Patrol, oh ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, oh, Paw Patrol. Alright Mayor Humdinger, you're now going into a timeout, go there now. I swear to God, one more fucking disgusting baby show song that I don't like in my opinion, I'm sending that person and the other people in time out to the principal's office. Hey Miss Morton, I want to tell you something. What? Every day when you're walking down the street And everybody that you meet And an original point of view And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day If we could learn to work, and play And get along with each other You got to listen to your heart Listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm The rhythm of the street Open up your eyes, open up your ears Get together and make things better by working together It's a simple message and it comes from the heart, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. But that's the place to start. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If we can learn to work and play, and get along with each other, you've got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message. And it comes from the heart, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. For that's the place to start. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If we could learn to work and play, and get along with each other, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If we can learn to work and play, and get along with each other, hey, what a wonderful kind of day, hey, what a wonderful kind of day, hey. That's it, Arthur. I'm not even going to send you in a timeout, you will just be coming with me to the principal's office, as for the timeout people, come with me right now. Hello Miss Manning, what brings you here to my office with some of your students? Principal Allen, you will not believe me when I tell you this, these five students were misbehaving even more and I put them in the timeout corner, here is what they did, Caden had refused to do his homework, talked smack to me, flipped a desk, and told me to lick his private part. Cyan wished me a coronavirus threat, and CGPA Little Bill, Arthur, and Mayor Humdinger sang their theme songs in front of me and the whole class. CGPA Little Bill, Aiton, Cyan, Arthur, and Mayor Humdinger, how dare you act like fucking toddlers in your class like that, especially the part where Arthur, Mayor Humdinger, and CGPA Little Bill sang their disgusting and annoying theme songs, and the part where Aiton cursed and Miss Manning, flipped the desk, and told her to lick his private part, that's it, your parents will surely hear about this one, and you guys will be having a 4 hour Saturday detention, get out of here right now. Okay everyone, all of your parents are here to pick you guys up. But before you guys go, erase this sentence right now, including the drawing of a limbless man who hung himself. Good, now that it's erased, get out of here now.
What the fuck, Bob? Why are you doing here from summer school, and why did you watch Ratatat with two robots? Explain. Tell me truth right now. Or else I drop you all to school. Okay. We being rude to Principal Eric the strict summer school. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. for skipping summer school. Back to summer school. Now. You stupid fanny jerk. Get out. Va Get your crotch over here right. Oh. My. God. All troublemakers. We can't believe you all skipped school going to Chuck E. Cheese and watch Radita. That is the worst thing you'll ever done. What did you do that? Rarity caught the his security camera because you'll escape summer school. That's it. You'll are suspended for five days. Go home right now. Elusive. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you wrote on blackboard? Principal Eric is dead. How dare you? Everyone. Get out. And the PCCUTTP. You will stay after school. Elusive, as your punishment, erase a sentence right now. Including the drawing of a limitless man who hang himself. This is the worst summer school ever. Shut up. Now that it's erased, get out of here now. You have homework. Troublemakers is also have a homework. Go home. Now. Equestria boys, we can't believe that you all get mad at Principal Eric and sneaking to Chuck E. Cheese's. That's it. That's it. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded until ninth suspended of summer school is over next week. Go to your rooms now. You are good for nothing worse enemies. Oh no! You've got trouble again? Why did you sneak out from summer school to Chuck E. Cheese's and going climbing? You didn't have vacation. You're going to summer school. That's it drawing Jeffy. You are grounded 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 until ninth summer school is over for five days. Go to your room right now. If you do this troubled summer school again, I'm seriously kick you out this guardian forever. Go to your room now. Stop. I mean it. Boy, I need to do nothing to be silly to be a grounded. 